Miami, Lone Depot Park. It's going to be a scorcher out there today. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. And starting in this one, Jesus Lazardo. What's the scouting report on him? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis. To line up and get deep into a ball game. Here's a big power threat, Mookie Betts. The shortstop, Mookie Betts. And the pitch. Outside low, and this one is off and running. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location, just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And that one upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not not pitches. They're just a little too high. Freddie Freeman in the on deck circle. Turns and fires the bets. Late on that fastball. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time Vino on the pop and big time pop at the plate. Lift to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but it gets the job done. And he just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. The throw, tag, and he's out. Not a base pass so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe swing and a miss and that's strike two gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball that one not close. Ball one. One out, base is empty. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Good eye on that spot. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike. It's in and out of his glove. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. He gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. One down. The batter now will be Will Smith. Not even close there, and it's one to know. The pitch. And a count one and two. a strikeout. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. This guy with light tower power. On the corner for a strike. Going one.
two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. One and this is the zone. Okay. Two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. That this is the zone. Two and two. Now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Miami. And on the mound today, Shohei Otani. It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses. Come fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman, Luis. Oh, yeah. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Hernandez going back. And he brings it into the warning track. And time now for the Marlins lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he that does come in the zone, you That's may only get man. one pitch. You better not miss it. Here's Josh yeah. Bell. And singing as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Another ball. Two outs, bases empty. Best ball for a strike. Now two and one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Two outs. Got him swinging. Nothing doing. No score. Here in Lone Depot Park, top of the second, and at the play for the Dodgers, James Outman. Lazardo back to work, and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Checks his swing, now an appeal to third. No, he held up. One one now. Hey. Big swing and a miss. Quickly one away in the second. Batting. The left fielder. Mendez. 
Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Movement in the Marlins bullpen. Number 53, the hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Number 60, the left-hander, also throwing. Man at second. And that's in for a strike. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really pitch. That misses. Now three and one. Chris Taylor up next to the Dodgers. The 3 1. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was it pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated. Got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into much. One down, runner at first. Here comes Chris Taylor. Late on that fastball. Hernandez stands at first with one out. Right through there for a strike. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two out. Hernandez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Next offering upstairs. Chris with that distraction, the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. In the air, right side. Sanchez ranging after it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Staying in Jason He'll be out center now after pitching. Well, one run game, and here is Jake Berger. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team. There's no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Here comes a pitch. Out front, rip foul. This one in the air. Lux gets under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Couple pitches and a quick out. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah. I say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Now this is a rocket flat. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he's just mowing him down. He's good. settling in. you got to all time out. Do whatever it Brian De La Cruz swings through it for strike one. Man on second, two down. 
They're down to their final strike. Well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Action in the pen down there. Evan Phillips, the closer of the staff, is throwing. One strike away. And yeah, that's outside. One ball. Two strikes. With the run at second. And the home team trying to play. Swing and a miss to him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left straight at second. This was all about the pitching. The job of the attacking hitters. appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today the final one to nothing dave roberts and company celebrate in the dugout our entire crew i'm choppy saying so long Here now is our final line score this afternoon for the victory.